Uh, what would be maybe just maybe one or two tips you might have for people, uh, how to deepen their faith in the Eucharist, how to grow, and maybe how to maybe jumpstart their prayer life with Jesus in the Eucharist? Yeah. Um, funny enough, my thesis in grad school was about this. <laughs> um, I, I think also when you're wanting to like learn more and you're yearning for more, think about how is it that you best learn or how is it that you best do. Um, for me, in regards to like listening and paying attention, it's better for me to see it and read along with what I'm hearing, which is why I got my missile. Um, not only did I want to know what the priest was doing and how he was doing it and why he was doing it, but I wanted to follow along with the prayers, the prayer after communion, the prayer, um, the communion antiphon, the entrance antiphon, all of that. I wanted to enter more deeply into the Mass, but I needed to follow along. So I found ways to kind of do that. Um, and the little missile, just pack it up and go. Um, but then in regards to prayer, let Jesus guide. <laughs> it's okay to sit and not know what you're doing. It's okay. Um, because you're not supposed to be doing anything. It's Jesus being with you and leading you and guiding you. And essentially you hearing the words, um, this is something that I'm getting better at doing, but, and I'm repeating more and more every day in prayer, but it's essentially you getting used to Jesus saying, you're a chosen child of God, you're precious in his eyes, you're beloved from all eternity, and you're held in his everlasting embrace. Those are the things that you need to know every day. But we frequently forget it because we're rushing <laughs> going to work we're rushing going to walk the dog, rushing putting the kids to bed or whatever. We, that, those are the words that we need to hear every day. That's and it's really okay beautiful. to not know. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for sharing that. Yeah, I, th I, th I guess those are some wonderful tips. You know, uh, I think reading the, the, the readings, reading the prayers, mm -hmm. those are great ways to really connect with those more deeply. But especially, as you said, just being in the presence of Jesus. Yeah. Uh, just let his gaze fall upon you. Uh, Mother Teresa, I think she, she's known to have said that if you want to pray better, you just have to pray more. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just, just be willing to, to put that time in. And so I, I think as, as we close, maybe I would just give that invitation to our people uh, to really um, refresh in their willingness mm -hmm. uh, to spend that time, uh, just to know that Jesus is there, as you said so well. Uh, he, he loves us so, so well. Mm -hmm.